I already see a huge difference in the abilities of my students to comprehend. They've been reading so regularly, every day, and talking about the books they're reading. In the beginning, she um, had a dream that she wanted to play good drums, and the lesson is always follow your dreams. And getting challenging questions about the books they're reading, and learning reading strategies about how to notice, and how to solve, and how to stop, and really make sure you understand they're going to be able to comprehend and understand because they've had so much practice. Conferring is a conversation between you and a student about the book that they're reading and it's a great tool for a teacher to see what does the student know individually. When they're reading independently, we're meeting with them either one-on-one, -on -one, taking notes, asking them questions, and I get to really dig deep into how they're growing as a reader how they're developing their fluency, how they're developing their comprehension. And looking at my notes, I can start to pick up keywords that will tell me, okay, this student really needs to focus on fluency. So does this student, so does this student. And then we might be pulling a small group and saying, okay, let's reteach this skill. Can you show me how you're doing this in your book? It's a lot easier for us to notice if these books are just right for them when we're conferring because it is one-on-one -on -one, and what do you know about this book? What do you understand about this book? You, you want them to grow that passion for just going and getting a book and falling in love with it or saying, you know what, that one wasn't for me. I, I want another one. You have to find that just right book. Take a sneak peek at it, read a little bit about it. Do you like it? Go ahead, check it out. It's fun for them because they get to pick their books. I'm not telling them this is the book we're reading today. They have at least 10 books in their book bag. I like that it gives the students a voice and choice about what they want to read, what they take from the book, and we build excitement around books. And they come back with something that I might not have thought of to teach them out of that book. Reader's Workshop flies by because it's constant, constant communication with students, constant monitoring of the class. By the time that 10 to 15 minute mini lesson is over and we do that mid-workshop teaching and then it's time for share, and they're like, and the kids are sometimes like, what, it's over? <laughs> because they're so lost in what they're doing. And that's the kind of learning that we want them to be engaged in.